Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to install your own video conferencing server in a couple of minutes on a basic $5 a month droplet from DigitalOcean. The instructions in the video will also work with most Linux based distributions. Jitsi is a free alternative to the popular open source video conferencing application, Zoom. The tutorial presumes that you already have a droplet. If not, you can set one up in about five minutes using the link in the description. All commands used in the video are in the description below, so you can simply copy and paste as you follow along. So let's go ahead and get started. This tutorial is broken into three sections. The setup of a valid A record and free no IP DDNS domain setup. Then the Jitsi server setup itself and initial configuration, including adding a user and setting up basic password authentication. And then finally, just the setup of a conference room and a short demo showing the uh, auth and a few other basic features. As usual, all links used in this demo are in the description below. So you can see here we've provisioned our droplet and we have our static IP address. So it's this address we're gonna to need to create an A record for so it's reachable over the internet via name. So we're gonna to go to noip.com and create a free uh, account this entitles us to add a host name and assign our address to it and it's this we'll then use to uh, continue on with our installation so we're just going to run through the quick sign up process for the account and see we can just copy that our static ip there just go ahead and sign up we'll just be prompted to confirm our account so we'll just pop back over to our address we use and confirm our account. So now on the dashboard, so you can see we've one active host name here and that's the host name we picked on setup. It's confserver.hop2. So we're just going to modify this and set it to the static address that our droplet has in DigitalOcean. And we're just going to put update host name. And that's it. That's all we really need to do right now with the uh, no IP setup. We'll just check that uh, the name has begun to resolve in DNS here and then we'll be able to uh, move on to the server setup. So let's uh, just type ping conf server dot hop two dot org and press return and you can see that's the address of our droplet in DigitalOcean. So we now know our A records resolving and we've now got our uh, free no IP domain set up. So let's jump back onto our droplet. We'll log in as root, put in our password. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the host name of the box just to match uh, our A record that we created. So we're going to nano minus W etc hosts and we're just going to change the line that says 127.0.1.1 to contain our fully qualified name and our shortened name for our host. So in here we'll be typing uh, confserver.hop2.org space or tab conf server. Okay, so it should resolve the host. Once we've put this setting in and then we're just gonna change the etc host name entry as well. So we'll just nano minus W slash etc slash hostname and we'll just change our name here just to be conf server okay and that's that bit done okay so now we're ready to actually go ahead and do the install of the Jitsi uh, meet application itself so first things first we're just going to put the gpg key in and add it using this command. And then we're just gonna uh, echo it into the stable list and we'll do an update then, just to update the repos. Okay, we're done. So we're now ready for our install. Okay, so we're gonna do it. Apt get minus V install Jitsi meet. This just takes a few moments just to actually run through the install. It takes down Java and a few other bits and pieces. 
Okay, so we're prompted for our host name. So again, this is whatever host name you've set. In our case, it's confserver.hop2.org. And okay, now here, just leave this as the default. We're gonna actually update this with a Let's Encrypt search. So just press okay. That's actually uh, supplied as part of the Jitsi install as well. So we'll come to that in just a moment. So you can see now it's just run through the actual Jitsi server install. So now we're just gonna run our uh, Let's Encrypt uh, hyphen cert.sh script. Again, this is part of the Jitsi install. So it's just gonna prompt us for an email address here. You can put in whatever email you'd like to be notified on for cert expiry. And the rest really just runs through install and cert bot and generating your cert and installing it onto the Jitsi server. You do incidentally need port 80 and 443 open as part of this on your firewall. And I'll list the ports required at the end of the tutorial for this as well. Okay, so it's just cleaning up the challenges and we're done. Okay, so we now have our Jitsi server installed and a Let's Encrypt cert on the box and a matching host name. So we should be nearly good to go with just a couple of other files to edit. Right, so we're just going to edit our first file here. It's our config.lua file. We're just going to scroll down through this file and we're just going to change one parameter at the top of the file. Again, your host name will be replaced um, when you revert into the file, but the path should be the same. So we're just going to come down to the authentication section and we're just going to remove the anonymous because we want these administrators to be prompted for a password when they log in to administer the Jitsi server. So this changes from anonymous to internal underscore plain. And then in the same file, if we just control and V and just jump down to the end of that file, we're just gonna add in an additional part in for a virtual host down the very end. And just paste that in here. Again, all the links for this is in the description. And just remember to change your section to match your host name so it's guessed that whatever your host name is uh, as opposed to confserver.hopserver.org which is obviously ours. So same thing again it's another file we need to make a change on. Uh, this is the SIP communication of properties. We're pasting one entry in here for the XAMPP uh, web front end and our host name associated with it. And again we're just going to save that and then we have a uh, the section where we're going to add users so it's uh, pro to cctl register your username your host name and whatever password you choose so you can just see here i've added two test users and just picked whatever password and this is the password the administrator will use to log in to create a conference later on we're nearly there so we're going to edit the config.js file next and they're going to change one more section just towards the top here where it says anonymous domain. We're just going to remove the two forward slashes here just so it's active and then change the guests.example.com over to guests.confserver.hop2.org. And just copy and paste it out of the line above. And that's it for that file. Let's just go ahead and control X out of there and save it. Done. Now we just need to do a, a services restart so all those services are restarted. We'll do system restart, prosody, shape info and video bridge. And now we're ready to go ahead and actually jump onto the web front end. Now it's really straightforward. It's just create a meeting. We've gone to our confserver.hop2.org web front end on HTTPS. And that's it. That's all there is, I'm the host. Put in the password that user we created earlier on. I'll just grab it here. My conf user one and then the password we picked as well. That allows us in. Click okay. And that's it, you're ready to go. I've my webcam blanked out here, but you'll be seeing my face here. If not, you can click over onto the security settings here. This allows you just to add a password for the participants uh, when they join the conference, just so it's not open to anyone. So we're just gonna copy and paste our 
webroom link here into a different browser just so i can show that to you so we'll just open and here we are we're just prompted that in one two three four and join the conference we've just created so that's it again it's fairly simple and straightforward there's nothing nothing crazy complicated to it you simply click the invite link here you can then uh, send your participants the link to your meeting room via gmail or just copy and paste the link whatever suits there's a couple of other options over here you can share your screen or wave your hand and a few other bits and pieces then there's some more controls here on the right hand side they're, again they're all very straightforward and self-explanatory they don't really need any further discussion so that's really it folks that's all there is to running your own video conference server it's private it's secure doesn't go through anyone else's uh, server so you have complete control from start to end and you can host as many of these as you want there's no charge for them other than the five dollar a month digital ocean droplet okay we've reached the end of the video thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe and check out the links in the description and also in the recommended video